one is my colleague, but under peer review, I can say Ababu Namwamba is one of the most hardworking, committed at, uh, uh, minister to his job and to the athletes. And I want to say, if you continue like that, Mweshimua uh, Namwamba, tukishikilia na pamoja, wewe utabadlisha sports kwa dunia yetu. Karibu ndugu yangu, uendelea kutoka hapa. Asante ni sana na mungu wa mfari. Thank you very much, my brother. Now, Mze Samson Chiriot Chepkieng. Na mama Mary Kangongo, wazazi wa huyu shujaa wetu, Asnath, pamoja na watoto Caleb Keegan na Precious Jerop, Poleni Sana, Mutio Mutio Missing. Your Excellency, Nataka kwanza kutoa rambi rambi maalum kutoka kwa baraza lako la mawaziri na ni shukuru baraza lote la mawaziri kwa kuchukua muda kuzungumzia huyu shujaa wetu katika kikao chetu cha baraza la mawaziri wiki iliyopita na wakaweka pamoja ujumbe maalum as a special tribute to this national hero your excellency allow me to read this message from cabinet and this message is signed by his excellency the president his excellency the deputy president our Prime Cabinet Secretary, and all Cabinet Secretaries. And this is their message. Since Monday, 12th February 2024, when we received the dreadful news of the passing of Calvin Kitun, alongside his coach, Javier Hakizimana, on the night of Sunday, 11th February, Kenya and indeed the rest of the world has been gripped by overwhelming sadness at the tragic loss of a Kenyan and global icon. Snatched from us at just 24 years of age, the late Kiptum was a once in a generation sporting talent who astounded the sporting world by becoming the first person to run a marathon in under two hours and one minute. This historic achievement and his many other record-shattering feats in his short career earned him accolades both at home and abroad, which included his much-deserved confirmment with a national honor and award, the Order of the Grand Warrior, or GW. This world is now a lesser place without Kelvin Kiptum in it. The night sky is darker, the sea breeze colder, in the absence of his bright star and radiant warmth. His accomplishments inspired millions to continuously push themselves to greater heights of excellence, whether in sports or in other aspects of life. His easygoing personality, humility, and eagerness to assist and mentor others made him a much beloved figure among all who he interacted with. To his wife, Asna Jeruto Rotich, their children, Caleb Kien Kitum and Precious Jerob Kitum, and to Kitum's parents, Mary Kangongo and Samson Cheruyo Chepkien, as well as the larger family, on behalf of a mourning nation, we extend our heartfelt condolences for your tragic loss. We mourn with you for the passing of a young man in his short life who achieved so much made so many lives better, inspired millions, and immortalized himself in sporting record books, as well as in the hearts of athletics fans. What really can we say 
to make it well to a young wife and children who have lost their pill of joy and strength at such a tender age. What words are enough to pacify parents who had just started watching their young son reap the fruits of hard work and determination? How much condolence is sufficient to console a family bereft of their burden of hope and direction? Indeed, nothing is sufficient, especially not at this moment of darkness and soul searching, but we join in your pain and invite you to take solace in the Holy Scripture in Revelation 21, 14, which says, and I quote, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, end of quote. We, the cabinet of the government of Kenya, join the world in expressing our grief and sense of loss at Kitum's passing, as well as our gratitude for having been blessed to have him in our lives, I'll beg for too briefly. As Kitum and Hakizimana are laid to rest, we thank the Almighty God for their lives and legacies, and we trust that the Lord Almighty will give you the strength and fortitude to bear this great loss. This is a message from the cabinet of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, allow me to briefly say a couple of things on behalf of the ministry responsible for sports. Today I stand here really with a very heavy heart because Kiptum for me was like a son and I interacted with this young man up close and he was an incredible, incredible young Kenyan. A bright star dimmed far too soon and an athlete who was already taking a prominent role in all the good things that this ministry and government is doing. Kiptum had already become a champion in our anti-doping agenda, our absolute zero tolerance to doping, our message of running and winning clean. And indeed, when his record was ratified only a couple of weeks ago by World Athletics, we applauded because he then symbolized that indeed you can run, you can win, and you can shatter world records without doping. And so we have really lost an incredible star in many respects. Kitum has also unified our country in life as well as in death. When he ran that incredible two hours, 35 seconds, the whole of Kenya celebrated. And when he passed on on that fateful night of February 11, we all were shattered. Your Excellency, I traveled here just hours after that in terrible accident, visited the family, and I could see how devastating that accident was on the whole village of Chepsamo, this whole area of Chepkorio, and indeed the whole Elgeo Maracuit County. I went to the mortuary, to the morgue at Eldoret Hospital to view the body of uh, Calvin lying side by side with his coach, Kavier Hakizimana, and I could see what a great loss it was to the family and to everybody. And I want to assure all of us here today that we honored Kelvin in life. We honored Kipton in life. Two days after he broke the world record, the ministry hosted a special ceremony where we honored him in the manner that we have set as government, including the rewards that we have set for setting a world record. And I'm glad that even in his passing, again, government has stepped forward to honor this national hero so that we recognize that he was a hero, both in life and in passing. And I'm glad to also disclose that we have extended this honor to his coach, Javier Hakizimana. Nataka kushukuru mweshmiwa rais ya kwamba uliniruhusu siku mbili zilizopita, uliniruhusu kusafiri hadi kule Rwanda, Kigali, kujiunga na familia 
ya aliye coach aliye kuwa kocha wa kitumu havie hakizimana and i joined the family and friends of coach hakizimana as we laid him to rest in kigali and i want to assure you that the people of rwanda really appreciated the gesture from the people and the government of kenya of standing with that family and incidentally mukewe coach hakizimana ni mtoto wa hapa chepkorio joan ana joan chelima anatoka hapa chepkorio ambaye sasa ni mjane na tumetoa msaada maalum kama serikali kusaidia familia hiyo let me also add that uh, there is a very deliberate efforts that government is doing to support our sportsmen and women in terms of facilities and i've had a lot of talk here about facilities and infrastructure your excellency again with your guidance we are already working on a lot of these facilities we have advertised the construction of kamarin stadium to international standards and we are at the tail end to start that project alongside kamarin we will also, we'll also be upgrading e10 grounds and in honor of uh, our fallen hero i see no reason why we cannot add these chepkorio grounds to that project which is already progressing and in this whole region which is really our talent belt all the way from south rift from bomet through kericho to wasingishu to nandi elgeo marakwet west pokot this whole region we are being very deliberate your excellency in investing in upgrading of facilities we already have a project to upgrade kipchoge keino stadium which in fact is one of our target host cities for the africa cup of nations in 2027 we have already advertised the construction of kipchoge keino stadium in nandi county our eyes are on kapkatet grounds in kericho county our eyes are on bomet stadium in bomet county and so this whole athletics talent belt is very much fully catered for in our infrastructure development program that i want to assure you here we have also included this region in the special program of setting up training centers your excellency we have set up 42 athletics training centers countrywide and this elgeo marakwet county has three of those 42 kaimoi secondary school kapkenda girls and uh, chewot boys all those are centers among those 42 and we have now added st patrick iten as a special elite training center and so even in terms of centers and um, and academies we are very much on top of that agenda finally your excellency let me also clarify and assure our athletes that we genuinely love and care for you as our athletes tunawajali sana tunawajali kwa sababu you are the goose that lays the golden egg i love to say that kenya's number one export to the world is not tea is not coffee is not tourism Kenya's top export to the world are these great sportsmen and women. You are the people who brand this country in terms that we cannot even quantify. And that is why we have taken some very very strong measures. Number one, we have improved the reward scheme. Now we are rewarding you at a much much higher level. Number two, we have worked with Athletics Kenya to introduce an endowment fund in the ministry has donated 20 million kenya shillings your excellency to activate an endowment fund to support our athletes in retirement and we have invited the private sector to work with us to support that endowment fund number three, we have initiated together with athletics kenya a pension scheme a pension scheme where our athletes can save voluntarily while active and can draw from that while in retirement we have also partnered with athletics kenya and housing finance to start a special package a special product for you to fully benefit from the affordable housing program 
And finally, we have introduced a program working together with our banks, Kenya Commercial Bank, uh, National Bank of Kenya, and Cooperative Bank on financial literacy to help our athletes to manage their finances better, to invest their resources better, so that while the sun shines, you can keep some hay for when it rains. And so I believe that we are doing well. I want to invite all of us to support all these programs. I want to invite partners like Golazo, like Nike. We appreciate the work you are doing to help us develop athletics. We want to invite you to work with government to support all these programs so that we can fully support our athletes. Now, haki kishia wanariada wetu. Na wanaspoti wetu kwa jumla. Ya kwamba serikali ya William Samuel Ruto inania, ina asthma, ina wezo wa kuinua hali yenu. And we shall not spare any effort in making sure that we continue in improving your circumstances. Poleni sana kwa kumpoteza muenzenu, watu wa Chepsamo, Chepkorio, Elgeo Marakwet, poleni sana mutio mutio missing. Thank you very much. In documenting anything that was due to Kiptum, due from government, due from agents, due from endorsements, due from management, we shall pursue every single coin and make sure it is put together to the benefit of this family. Your Excellence, I give that assurance. Na nikushukuru mwashimua rice, in a record seven days, we have been able to put up a home, two houses, both three bedroom, one three bedroom house for Asnaf and her children, Caleb and Precious, and another three bedroom house for Mze Cheruyot and Mama Mary Kangongo. And that is support from government, and we will continue to stand with this family. It is now my honor and privilege, Ninaposema Kwaheri, to a boy who has been like a son to me, a boy who really I had a lot of faith in. I was looking forward to keep to him shattering the two-hour ceiling in the marathon and for him to take a bow in the Olympics this summer in Paris. As I say, Kwaheri, Nasema Pole Sana, Natutasimama na family. Let me now take this opportunity to invite His Excellency, our Prime Cabinet Secretary, to deliver his message of condolence.